All units, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. Repeat, pursuit is called off. Abandon search and return to patrols. This is where the trailer trash lived. Oh! Always did. A terrible place. Requesting a supply run to Barclay Mills. Be out directly. From mom. Mom is dead. I already done told you that. She ain't dead. This is the last time I'm doing this. Hey, well, run! Run! As fast as you can! I've been listening in on old Charlie. 
And he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck. And as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. <laughs> Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes. Any y'all seen him? Uh, y'all see what you can find. Fine. Hey! Dead box of stuff! Shit, he's done for. No, no, no! Jesus Christ! Y'all ought to check that out. You animals ought to be wiped off the face of the earth! Sucker, believe that. You're fucking Gone. dead. Do not let him get away. I ain't giving up that easy. Motherfucker learned he is left. Avoid 
and fire. Got eyes on him. for me and you might live long enough to raise your family okay sure thing whatever you want that's good charlie real good Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. your name for the record? Donovan. John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. God ain't forgetting what those motherfuckers did to this place, Mr. Clay. I won't either. Running low. Can you send supplies to Del Rey Hollow? Yeah, directly.
Everything you see is for sale. Let me see what you got. You This man's name is Jesse. We were just having ourselves a little conversation about which he do say. Listen, I ain't done nothing, you hear? I don't know anything. I, I was just taking a walk and walking down the street and, and she just grabbed me, is all. You a Dixie Mafia? No. Yes. I mean, shit. I did it for the money, you hear? I, I ain't got nothing personal against y'all. I don't even carry a gun. Where's Doucette? He's... He's out at the abandoned amusement park to the west of here. Banned Saturdays? What the hell is he doing out there? From what I heard, it's because you've been tearing things up. And Georgie, Georgie's on a goddamn warpath. He wants Richie dead. So Richie, he grabbed what was left of the heroin and took off. Said he was gonna lay low until he could settle things with Georgie. How many men he got with him? Hell, I don't know. All of them. Hand me that knife. No, no, please. No, I ain't done nothing to y'all. Please, I, I'm begging you. My mama, my papa, shit. Go on, get. He could warn Doucet. He ain't no threat to nobody. Let him run back home to his mama. If you wrong, there'll be hell to pay. Thank you. 